Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show how you can convert Google Docs into PDF files automatically and save it in a database in Airtable. So guys, Google Docs is a great application to create documents, but for sharing purposes, most of the time we need to convert those documents into PDF formats because PDF formats are uh, more secure to share because they are not editable and you can compress them and share it easily. So most of the time we need to convert documents into PDFs, but guys manually converting documents into PDFs and then sharing them is a very hectic and time consuming process. So here we have designed and created an automation for this purpose and this is how it is going to work. So the flow of this automation is going to look like this here. You just have to create a document in Google Docs application and as in when the document got created, it will be converted into a PDF file and will be saved in your drive and the same PDF file will be uh, saved in your Airtable database automatically. Okay, so you can uh, save both of these documents in two different locations and easily access the features of these applications which are Google Docs and Airtable and it will surely help you in saving your time and manual efforts and streamline this process. Okay, so we are using Pabli Connect to make this happen which is our integration and automation tool and the best part is you can set up this automation in a few steps without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So any person can set up this automation very easily. So let's set up this automation together. So guys, first of all, uh, log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So to reach the dashboard, please use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so sign up right now and then log in to reach here. And on this dashboard, you have to create a workflow. So to create a workflow, just click here on this create workflow button. And now you can give a suitable name to this automation. So I'm, uh, let me give the name here as Google Docs to Google Docs to Airtable. Sorry, Google Docs to PDF, PDF automation. Okay, so you can give any name according to yourself. And after filling the name, you just have to click here on this create button and you can see our workflow is getting created here and on this page you will see these two things the trigger and the action so these are the basic building blocks of this automation and here uh, let me explain the trigger is the happening of that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action is the response towards the trigger as in our use case the trigger would be a new document created in Google Docs application. So that will act as a trigger and the action towards that trigger would be to convert the file into PDF and save it in Airtable. Okay, so let's set up our trigger first. So from this choose app field, you have to choose the trigger application as Google Docs. Search for Google Docs and select this. This is it. And the trigger event select new document option. Okay, so it will trigger when a new document is added. Okay, click on connect. Then from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google Docs. And from this window, you have to select the Google account uh, by which you are accessing that Google Docs application. Okay, so select the account. Then you have to provide some additional access to Pavli Connect to make this connection. Just click on continue from here. And you can see the authorization is getting successful and we are now connected. Okay. So after uh, getting connected, uh, when you click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of any random file that you have created in your Google Docs application. Okay. So let me click on save and send test request and let's see uh, the, the, date, uh, the data of which file got captured and you can see the data of a file got captured here. So this is the ID of the document. Okay, this is the name of the document. Okay, so let's check if, uh, if we have this document inside my Google Docs application. Uh, this is my Google Docs. Let me search for this file. And we have this file here, you can see. This is a document I created 
for some reasons for any reason and the data of this document got captured here in our workflow as the test data okay now uh, I'm going to use this, the data of this file only uh, to set up this automation further okay so after capturing the data of the file what we need we need to convert this document into PDF format for that what we are going to do we are going to use this action step and here we are going to search for Google Drive application and with the help of Google Drive we are going to use an action, action event to convert it into PDF let me show you so I am searching for Google Drive so actually the documents you create in Google Docs got saved in Google Drive automatically so here we are connected Google Drive and this same file you can find it on your drive as well okay so now in the action event you have to search for share a file with anyone option this one share a file with anyone select it then click on connect and from here select add new connection then click on connect with Google Drive and from this window select the uh, Google account by which you are accessing that drive and then you have to provide the additional access to Pavli Connect to make the connection just click on continue and you will be connected with Google Drive here like this okay now it is asking for the file ID so here I am going to map this ID that we have received in the first steps response we have received this ID okay so I am going to map this ID here to make this file shareable so just toggle this map button to on first okay erase this field and when you click here you will see this google docs step in the drop down so this was our first step and when you click on it you will you can see all the data that you have received in the first step so from here i am going to map this id okay and after that click on save and send test request and you will get the pdf link the shareable links of the same file that you uh, that you created as a document in Google Docs so now you can see the name of the same file which was a document you can see the best restaurant management software this was our file and here when you scroll down you will get this PDF link so it got converted as a PDF and with the help of this link you can access this file in PDF format let me show you so here you can see we got the file downloaded here in PDF format and when you open it you can see uh, the same file in PDF format okay so previously it was a document here now it got converted into PDF format like this okay now guys I want to save this same PDF file in Airtable okay for that to happen you have to connect Airtable first of all click on this plus icon and another action step will open up now connect a table here in this action step okay and in the action event select create record option click on connect then from here select add new connection and here it is asking for the API key of a table to make this connection so you'll find this API key from the account section of a table so you can access the account section just by clicking on this account text here so uh, I have already logged in in my Airtable so it will directly bring me to the account section okay and here on this account section when you scroll down you will find this key here just copy this key come back paste this key here in this token field and then click on save and you will be connected with Airtable application and in Airtable I have create already created a uh, table in a base so this is my base guys Google Docs to a table is the name and this is a table I have created and here you can see I have these headers name of the file notes attached and the attachment so here I want to save the data of the file and to make this that this happen you have to select the base ID here from this field so select your base what is the name of my base Google Docs to a table okay search for it Google Docs to a table here it is you can see select that and after that you can see the table name got automatically selected because we have only one table here table one so it got selected like this now it is asking for the files name the notes if you have any the attachment link and the status link okay so these are the headers of my table okay so 
let me map the data that I have received from the previous two steps. So for the name, I'm going to use the first step. Just click here and you will find these two steps here in the drop down. And from the first step, uh, let me map the name of the file. This is the name of the file. And um, I do not want to add any note here. So I'm leaving notes field blank. It is not a compulsory thing. If you want to put any note, you can add the note manually as well. In the attachments, I'm going to use the second step. And from the second step, I go I'm going to uh, map this PDF link that I, that we have converted. This is the PDF link. You can see export link application slash PDF map it. Okay. In the status, you can put any status if you want. Okay. In the status, let me map uh, uh, this one, this thing. So, so I, in the status, I am putting, I'm mapping the role of the person who, who is going to get the access of this file. So the role is reader. So I'm mapping this as the status. Okay. Now you can check your connection with Airtable by clicking on save and send test request and you will see the data that you have mapped will be here in this row of the table. Okay. I'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens. And you can see this is the response we have received here. Let's check in a table space if we got the data added or not. So here you can see the data is added here like this. This is the name of the file and this is the attachment. Let me open this attachment for you. And here you can see the same PDF file that we have converted got attached here and saved in your a table base. Okay. So this is how it is going to work in real time guys and our automation is working properly. Let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, uh, in the trigger, we connected Google Docs application. And then uh, we fetched the data of a test document here like this. And after that, I make this same file shareable in PDF format with the help of Google Drive's action event as share a file with anyone. Map the file ID and we got the uh, converted PDF file link here like this. Okay. After that, I connected a table to save the data of the file in a table and map the data like this. So when you map the data like this, what will happen whenever you convert, whenever you create a document in Google Docs application, the name and the attachment and the status is going to change accordingly, according to the mapped data. And you will see a new row added here every time with the new file and the new name. Okay. And guys, you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually here. After that, it is going to run automatically. And the best part is you can use the same workflow that I've created because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.